Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my assembly language tutorial. Now, uh, in this movie, I want to show you how we can uh, make system calls. Now, system calls are somewhat um, predefined functions or procedures that is defined within the system or within the OS if you are writing an assembly module inside an OS. Um, I can give you an example such as like printf or scanf. So, well, the inner procedure that is transparent to you, you are just only um, concerned about how what to do with it. Say, input you are not uh, when you are trying to get some input from the user, you are not uh, concerned about how to take the input. You are just concerned it will just take the input. Just you know, just just if you are using a uh, scanf or when you are using printfs. So to make a system call, first what we do is that uh, we interrupt the microprocessor to say that we want to use a system call now uh, just like in uh, uh, traditional functions functions in C and C++ and in Java we put parameters inside some brackets so it is not the case in assembly so we are we have to pass parameters and to pass parameters we put them in registers um, so uh, maybe there are four parameters so the system call expects those four parameters in certain four different registers and when the processing on those data is done or the job of the system call is done it stores uh, the output data in some register now it's our responsibility to put the data the in which the system call expects to be th them in the register and we have to know that uh, where the system call stores the data after the processing so let's again look at our hello.esm file so if you see you can see uh, here we are producing an interrupt and h0 uh, h uh, is saying well we want to make a system call now now there uh, there are certain parameters you can see so uh, this system call will take four parameters okay so we put four parameters in EAX, EVX and ECX register and when we uh, call this statement uh, these four parameters are passed to the system call and then uh, the printf uh, does its job now I, I will explain you later how this thing works uh, in the next movie so just uh, remember these three or four steps that you have to tell the microprocessor by interrupting that you want to use a system call you put the parameters uh, inside a register that you want to use as an argument and the uh, output data will be also stored in some register and it's our responsibility to store the uh, or fetch the data from the register where it is stored and uh, it is our responsibility also to put the data in proper order in the register just like uh, where we we have to remember in which way the parameters in a function have to be placed so they are quite similar and you can see uh, this uh, five block of lines they are essentially making a system call just one system call uh, now uh, next movie I will uh, explain you how this hello world works so thanks for watching this video and if you have missed uh, the other videos in my playlist you can obviously visit in my channel and um, see the other videos and um, thanks for watching this one